I want to replace the cabinets, the countertop, the backsplash, the window, and the sink. Uh, we're going to have cabinets pre-built by Lowe's. We're going to use uh, gargoyle granite for the granite countertops. And I want you to create a complete labor breakdown of the entire project. Line item out every piece of labor. Hell, give me a, an estimate of how many hours it would take one person to complete that part. And then also make a list of all the materials that I could possibly need on this project. So I just did speech to text that's built into the app. And let's press submit and let's see what it gives me. All right, so it's gonna, it's going to do its best to give me a breakdown and, and do what I asked. And when I see what it does, now usually it's, it's not gonna produce like a complete estimate for you, not yet. Maybe in six months, this thing will just produce an estimate and send the invoice for you or whatever. But um, right now, I think for this kind of thing, it's best used as a brainstorming tool because you know I could think through this project and and line item all of the labor and all the materials myself. I might pull past kitchen remodels I've done and use those estimates and those job cost reports to figure out what to charge for this one. But especially for guys who have never done a kitchen remodel before, this is going to really speed up your process. This is going to give you a lot of clues as to what should be included in this project. And I have so many guys on YouTube asking me like, how do I estimate a project? Well, get ChatGPT, spend the 20 bucks so that you can use ChatGPT4 and just use it. Talk to it. Go back and forth with it. So let's look at what it gave me here. Um, we got demo day, one to two days, preparation one day, prep the walls and floors, make any necessary repairs, underlying surfaces, cabinet install two to three days. This is, this is thinking I'm going to assemble the cabinets myself, but if I was buying them at Lowe's, they would just come pre-built. Oh no, this does say pre-built. Yeah, maybe it'd take one person two to three days if it's a big kitchen. Uh, countertops, backsplash, sink and plumbing. So it gave me a pretty good labor breakdown. Um, depending on the particular kitchen, I might uh, know of some other things. Maybe we're doing the lighting. Let's look at the material list. We've got the cabinets, the granite slabs, backsplash tiles, new kitchen sink, plumbing supplies. And uh, this is all going off that picture, which is really cool. Um, let's go like one step further and let's say, let's say the backsplash is, mm, let's just say 40 square feet of backsplash. <clears throat> and I haven't done this before, so let's see what this tool can do. I have 40 square feet of area that needs to be covered in backsplash. We're going to use 12 inch by 12 inch tiles and factor in how many tiles I'm going to need if we have 10% uh, waste and we're going to be using um, thin set mortar to stick the tiles and then we'll also need to grout and seal the whole thing. So estimate how much materials I'll need and line item, line, line item them out please. Now I stumbled my words there but the text to speech is pretty good. It didn't even mess it up. It fixed it for me, which is pretty cool. So let's see what it tells me here. We should need, what, 44 sheets of tile if we're doing, uh, if we're doing one by one, one foot by one foot. Well, that's going a little slow today. <clears throat> the other day I was, uh, I was trying to figure out how I can get this thing to give me like a complete estimate in one go. And I got pretty close when it came to like tile and flooring. <clears throat> but you know, estimating bigger projects is, is going to be something that's a little too complex for this tool at the moment. So yeah, it estimated 44 tiles. 
And then it's going to try to estimate how much thin set I need and all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, you know, if you're estimating a project, uh, having this open in another window, it's like having an assistant that has a ton of construction experience. And whether you have experience or not, this will help, you know, you prompt the computer and then the computer prompts you and it brings things things to your mind and it helps you create a complete estimate. You know, that's one of the biggest downfalls of a lot of guys is they forget parts of the project, they don't put it in the estimate, and then when it comes time, they either have to add it on or they just eat it themselves and they end up not making any money. So, you know, give this tool a try. If you're already using it, you know, drop a comment and let us all know how you're using it. And, you know, we, there's probably tons of things you guys are doing that I haven't even thought of yet. So I'd love to hear it. And uh, let me know what you think of this video. If you want to see me mess around with this AI stuff more, just let me know. Thanks for watching.